Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to cover pointers to arrays or array pointers and how arrays are related to pointers. So here you can see I have an array of integers. We have five elements inside this array and we have this array to represent the grades of a student. So the student has five courses and the grades are as followed. We have 94, 89, 85, 96, and 93. And I have two print statements here. So one is going to print out the array and the other is going to print out the first element of the array, which is at index zero. So we should get 94. So let's save and run the program. And here you can see we have the memory address of the array and we have 94. And actually this memory address represents the starting address of the array. And the array starts at index zero. So it's actually the address of where the first element is stored. And just to show you what I mean, I can do C out and I can get the memory address of student grades at index zero. So let's save and run the program. And you can see student grades and the memory address of student grades of index zero, they are equal, okay? So since an array is just a memory address, we can actually create a pointer that will point to this array. So to declare the pointer, we will need to declare the type. So this is an array of integers, so I can just do int star, and we can call it student grades pointer. And we can assign it directly to student grades. So notice here, I am not doing ampersand student grades, I am just doing student grades. And the reason is student grades is an array, and we already have the memory address, as you saw when we printed out this value. And so if I print out the pointer, so student grades pointer, we should expect the memory address of the array. And because this is a pointer, I can also dereference the pointer. So I can do C out, dereference student grades pointer, like so. So now if I save and run the program, you can see for the last two lines, we have the memory address for the pointer. And when we dereference the pointer, we get 94. All right, so that's how you can assign a pointer to an array. So let's comment this out. And let's also comment this out. All right, so now you know how to assign an array to a pointer. Now let's talk about how indexing works with pointers. So let's say I want this value 85. Well, index starts at zero. So if I want this value 85, I would start at 94, which is index zero, then index one and index two. So to get this value, I would do C out student grades of index two. Now, how can I do this with the pointer? I would do C out dereference of student grades pointer plus two. And this is called pointer arithmetic. So basically, when I dereference the pointer at student grades pointer, we get the first value, which is 94, and that is at index zero. And if I want the value at index two from the pointer, I would take the starting address and add two. So this two is an offset. And actually, the formula works like this. We have final address is equal to starting address plus index times the size. And size refers to the size of each element. So in this case, we have four bytes for integers. And if we have characters, that will be one byte each. But in this case, we have integers, so this is four bytes. So to get the final address, we take the starting address and add index times size. So this is the offset. Now what we passed in here was the starting address and the index but we don't pass in the size, and that is because C++ can already figure out what the size is because we have an array of integers, so the size is going to be four, so it's going to do student grades pointer plus two times four. And if I do a dereference at that memory address, I can get the value stored at that memory address. So if I save and run the program, you can see we get 85 from the array and from the pointer. And actually, another thing I can do is C out and do two index student grades. So if I save and run the program, you can see I also get 85 here. And the reason why that works is because I can also do C out asterisk two plus student grades pointer. So if I save and run the program, you can see I also get 85. So basically for the C++ syntax, if I do array of index, this is the same as doing dereference of array plus index. And the same goes for index array. This is dereference index plus array. 
So in this case, array is the starting address. And then if we do array plus index, we get the final address. And you might be wondering why we can do this. And that is because C++ is smart enough to distinguish the index, which is an integer and a memory address. Therefore, we can do either way, but obviously it's not ideal to do it this way. It works, but generally we do it this way, okay? So now we have four ways to print out all the elements in this array. So what I can do is for int i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus. I can do c out i student grades of index i, i of student grades, student grades pointer, and let's dereference this. So student grades pointer plus i, and then we can also do dereference of i plus student grades pointer. All right, so now if I save and run the program, you can see we get the same values at each index, okay? And so because we can use pointer arithmetic, we can actually modify the memory address in the pointer for an array by using the increment operator. So I can do student grades pointer plus plus like so. And this is the same as saying student grades pointer plus equal one. So student grades pointer is pointing to student grades, which is the starting address. So we should get 94. But if I modify it and increment it by one, we should get 89. So if I do C out, the reference of student grades pointer, we should expect to see 89. And there you go, you can see we get 89. So this is moving the pointer up to the next memory address. We can also move the pointer back down. So I can do student grades pointer minus minus. And this is the same as saying student grades pointer minus equal one. So now if I print out the reference of student grades pointer, we should expect the pointer to go from 89, which is at index one, back to 94, which is at index zero. So let's save and run the program. And you can see we get 89. And then after decrementing the pointer back, we get 94. So just for a quick demonstration, I can do for int i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus, I can print out i student grades pointer which will print out a memory address. And I can dereference student grades pointer. And to move the pointer up, I can just do student grades pointer plus plus like this. So now if I save and run the program, you can see we get the memory address of each index of the array. And notice that the difference is four each time. And that is because the size of an integer is four bytes. So we go from zero to four, four to eight, eight to C, and C stands for 12 because you have a hexadecimal system, which means that the digits can go to 16. So after nine, we have A, which is 10, B, which is 11, and C, which is 12. And actually, another thing I can do is instead of incrementing the pointer here, I can just add it over here. So the order of operation goes like this. We dereference the pointer, then we print it out with C out, and then afterwards we bump up the pointer. So if I save and run the program, you can see we get the memory address and value for each element in the array, okay? But one thing I want to note here is that because we are incrementing the pointer and we are stopping at five, after this for loop runs, the pointer will point to the memory address that comes right after 93, which is index four. So if I try to print out the memory address, let's see what happens. So let's save and run the program. And you can see this memory address comes right after this one. So it's the next four bytes after this one. And this memory address is not part of the array. So an array is a contiguous block of memory, but it only includes five of these blocks. So now our pointer is actually out of range for this array. So whenever you're working with arrays and pointers, you want to be careful that you do not access outside the memory range of the array. And because this pointer is out of the range of the array, you don't know what memory address it's pointing to. So you definitely do not want to dereference it and try to change the value stored at that memory address because this might lead to unsafe behaviors. All right, so that's pointer arithmetic and how pointers work with arrays. 
And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more C++ tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.